Hello, hello, I'm Kaz, and welcome back to the Free to Play Review. Now, it's better late than never, and it is the last day of the topic for today, which is the current ongoing Heroes Path. But nonetheless, we are going to discuss it just so I can get my take out there. I was actually out of town celebrating my mother's birthday, so happy birthday, Mom. And let's get back into the raid grind. So as I mentioned, today's topic is the current Heroes Path, Path of Light, whatever you want to call it. The Tatsu Epic Path is what the, I'm going to be calling it. But nonetheless, we have some Titan points. We do have all four of the epics featuring featured in the Tatsu fusion for the Lady Mikage fusion and then if you were to go all the way down to the center bottom you do have some legendary and mythical tomes. This particular iteration of the Heroes Path is a combination of the unfortunate dungeon divers and then also a summon rush for pulling shards. As always when it comes to Heroes Paths or Decks of Fate or anything like that dungeon divers is more of an auxiliary source of points so it's not the primary source you would need tens of thousands of energy <laughs> invested in order to max it out entirely with dungeon divers so it's really not the primary source. So this is predominantly a shard summoning event, specifically more of a summon rush. And honestly, these paths are pretty expensive compared to the norm, at least in terms of shards. We'll, we'll look at that a bit later when we hop over to the spreadsheet. But uh, yeah, there's not really a good air quotes path to take in my opinion, but nonetheless, I've identified a handful. One of them, one of them being the Titan path, meaning a path that will get you all of the Titan event points, which is the cheapest option. Um, you can go for one of the epics. They're all a similar cost. I think it's an extra 500 to go for um Elysinia versus the uh, any of the other ones but uh it's fairly similar and then if you wanted to go all the way down to one of the legendary tomes i covered that one as well so the titan path meaning that you do split the uprights here you come down both sides well i guess you can kind of pick one from each row here and then you make sure to come down the left hand side the right hand side for each of these 50 nodes and then you come down the center towards the 100 node for a grand total of 200 points up for grabs from this path and that would cost you a grand total of 28,005 500 points if you wanted to go for any of the epics you can see right above all of them there is one key required and unfortunately all of the keys are here at the bottom so you'll have to make your way through the left or the right hand side all the way down through the center and branching out to the left or the right to come down and, and get at least one of the keys granted you one key or uh, one key on either side gives you access to another key relatively easily but again you're still spending amounts of shards in this case in order to get the points to do so but nonetheless if you were to go all the way down grab one of the keys and then you kind of pick which epic you want to go for because you're going down to this key you're going to have this path available you're going to have this path available and you should have this path available so it's up to you which epic you want to go for if you're going for that but it kind of, like i said it kind of varies but somewhere in the realm of 62,000 points is what it's going to cost you 63 63 62 63,000 points is what it's going to cost you to get any one of those epics assuming you have to or provided you have to go down and get one at least one key but if you don't care about any of that and you just wanted to come down either the left hand side or through the center left hand right hand, hand side to come down and just get a legendary tome then it would be 49,750 points and then obviously you add 10,000 to that if you wanted to do the same thing but only get the mythical tome so if we hop over to the spreadsheet you can kind of see those same paths outlined here on the right hand side i do always have the dungeon divers element in the spreadsheet which will be linked in the description box down below if you want to check it out for yourself but like we said that's not the primary mode of gathering points but nonetheless you'll see how many coins or currency or whatever you'd get for running campaign and or running these respective stage of dungeons but at the bottom here is the breakdown that's probably the most important how many shards is it going to take for each of the paths that i identified most notably the titan event path would only cost you the equivalent of seven sacreds so even though this path seems expensive and it seems extreme if you were treating this like any other summon rush for titan event points seven sacreds would be around 3500 points which is about standard when it comes to getting titan points so it's not much more than the usual in terms of that regard however like we already established going for any of the epics is going to cost you closer to 14 sacreds depending on which one you want or which one you need and obviously it escalates more from there as you progress down to the weaker and weaker shards don't underestimate the power of mystery shards we didn't really i didn't mention here but there are they are three points per mystery shard so if you just need a little bit extra somewhere here and there you can definitely pull a few mystery shards and that can push you over the line and then same thing for legendary tome it's about 12 uh, um, uh, sacred shards which is a bit expensive i will have to admit um even if like even during like a 2x sacreds during a champion chase it should be closer to around 8 to 10 sacreds just to get one legendary tome from a champion chase so this is most certainly not worth it um compared to a champion chase 2x sacred type deal so with all this in mind if you were just going for the titan event points then again seven sacreds is par for the course it's pretty standard for the first summon rush that we had and most of the summon rushes that we experienced for titan events if you're going for the lady mikage souls then it's not much different than what 
you should have already been prepared for relative to the other summoning events. Um, and if you were going for the epic, it's up to you. It's going to be quite costly. Again, you can offset this slightly by running dungeons, running campaign, whatever you're also working on, spending your energy. So it could be slightly less than these values, mystery shards included. Um, but nonetheless, it's still going to be fairly expensive just to get one of the epics that you might need. So the choice is yours. Decide for yourself what you want to use your energy or your shards on. In my case, the only epic that I would need is Alessania here down at the bottom. And she is the one that I kind of mapped out in terms of the math in the spreadsheet. And so that would still be like 62,000 points or 14 sacreds. And that is most certainly not worth it for me. I'm not in a rush to get Lady Mikage. I know I'll get her eventually. And so stuff like this doesn't really entice me unless it's fairly cheap or accessible. Um, so like if it was the rewards on the right in a tournament, instead of being competitive for winning the entire tournament outright, then I might be more interested in pushing a little bit harder than usual. Um, but for stuff like this, where it's a heavy investment of shards and or other resources, it just doesn't feel worth it to me. So with that said, you might suspect that my goal here is merely just to get the Titan event points and you would be right. However, I did happen to get lucky in the deck of fate. I think it's gone now, so I can't show you. I ended up getting like four or five flips just by running campaign in some of the dungeons that were going on. And I happened to hit one of the epic cards for the 50 or for 50 Titan points. So that kind of helped offset it. I planned to skip the entirety of the deck of fate, which I think was 150 up for grabs, but I managed to get 50 out of there, which helps reduce the amount I needed from the path of light. And so we can actually look over there at the Titan event points or the Titan event. And you can see that we're at 1700 and we only need 50 points, which is much, much cheaper. So we only need to get 50 points, which means I only have to go down one side and just get the 50 node. Originally, I would had to, I would have had to gone uh, down both sides to get both of the 50 nodes because that's cheaper than going all the way down um, to the 100 node. And you can also see that we already have 4,600 points. And that is again from running uh, the Dungeon Divers aspects of running the campaign because there's a champion training tournament and then running the bit of the, uh, uh, the Ice Golem tournament. Uh, maybe the last one as well to get some more dungeon divers points so we do have some pre pulls set up showed us or uh, i guess we save the equivalent of those shards by having done that already so in my case i only need about 3000 ish points which i can easily do with just a 10 pop of ancients and obviously i could do i could use any type of shard but in my case i do have a ton of ancient shards so we're going to do that um we have a small small chance i guess to get helicath don't really care about uh dude or maybe i do because epic empowerment is coming down the pipeline but uh, let's quickly do this 10 pop and get our 3000 points and uh, let's just see what happens there's no 2x going on right now so i most definitely do expect to see a bunch of rares no big deal but yeah so that's to be expected i think that brings us pretty close maybe like 300 or something away 200 400 and honestly i could do that with one we could do one more ancient and then do the rest of mystery or i could just do the rest of mystery i'll probably do the rest of mystery off camera just to save um even though yeah i do have a lot of ancients but we're waiting for uh you know a good more reasonable thing to do with it 2x ancients or uh, maybe perhaps a guaranteed we haven't had a guaranteed for ancients in a, in a good while but in any case on top of finishing my allotment for the hero's path that does also conclude my progress or progression in the titan event so stay tuned for a community tab post where i summarized all of my supplies used in order to get that and it might be a lot less than you might think you'll we'll, we'll see <laughs> what it is i have a suspicion but i think it might be a lot less um than you might suspect over the course of the two and a half weeks that it has been so yeah i guess at this point we kind of just prepare sit and wait for the wixwell fusion that should be starting uh, maybe thursday i forget the exact date but i think it starts on thursday so stay tuned for that fusion plan going over that as well as my thoughts on the end result of the champion and i myself will be enjoying this brief reprieve where i can actually spend time in minotaur grinding some masteries before the fusion starts so of course at this point it's probably too late to advise you on what you should do for this hero's path but nonetheless in the comment section down below let me know what you ended up pursuing in this path for yourself and as always if you did find this video helpful then be sure to hit that like button down below and feel free to subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the content for more content just like this one in the future thanks for watching and have a good one